hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with something a little bit different. We're back with a review. This review was highly requested after seeing this on Instagram. I had quite a few people asking me about this. So today we are going to review this Everything Crochet Crochet Hook. Now I bought this crochet hook a couple uh, months ago and I really, really like this crochet hook. So I figured I would show you guys and maybe do a little bit of testing it for you so you can see that it actually works. So this is how it came. It did have a black elastic band that went around the, the, around the box itself, but I've misplaced it since I bought it. So I do apologize about that. But there is a black elastic band that will come to help keep this secure and closed um, so that like if it drops or something, it doesn't just pop open. Um, the clasp on it is pretty tight though. Like it's, it's pretty good. So if, if it falls, I don't see it popping open unless it pops open on like a hardwood floor or something. And then when you look inside here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different sizes of crochet hook. And you get this little wrench which I'm gonna show you all about how that works and everything. You get a, a USB charger, and then you get your crochet hook. So first we're gonna take the crochet hook out of here, and I'm gonna show you that. Now this crochet hook is something whoop, different. So this is your crochet hook here, and you can see it has R and S. The R stands for row, the S stands for stitch, okay? Now if I were to press this, if you look at the digital readout there, it says 191, and then it says uh, 29, Press and hold to clear it. Just like that. So we cleared it out. Um, I do really like this crochet hook. I did use it for a pretty big project because I wanted to test it out to see if it worked well. Um, the size crochet hooks you get in here, I'm seeing... Hold on a second here. Let me get my little wrench out. Now, this little wrench is what you need. Like, you don't want to lose this tool because it helps you get the hook into the the, bot, the base of it here. So, you have sizes 2.5. You have size 3. This is size 3.5. This should be size 4 four and a half, four and a half, five, five and a half, which on here it says H, but I know five and a half to be letter I. So sometimes different crochet hooks will have uh, the, the lettering wrong, which is why I usually say the 5.5 instead of the letter, because certain crochet hooks will have the size, the size different. Um, letter, or number six is I for them. And then this last one, this last big one, is letter 6.5, which is J. Um, like I said, it does come with a charger, because uh, the charger goes in this back end here, and then you can hook it up to a USB, uh, if you have a USB plug, or if you have a charge block with the USB, you can hook that up to that to charge your crochet hook. Now, if you can't tell out of looking at them, this is the crochet hook that I use for the project that I worked on. Now, the only downside that I saw so far is why, I'm not sure why this is changing color. I'm guessing because of the use of it, they will change color so they won't stay gray. Um, it's like this goldish orange color, um, which I don't mind if the crochet hook discolors because the discoloration does not stop it from working. Um, so they will change color after a while. Um, the other downside to this is when I got the crochet hook, it didn't make that sound. It wasn't until I finished my project that it started making that sound. I don't know what it is. Something in there is loose. And this is after only just using it for one project. And I'm usually pretty, I'm, I'm usually pretty delicate with my crochet hooks just because I want them to have a longer use. Um, so it doesn't, it's not hindering it from working because as you can see, you can still see the digital readout. You can still count up on the digital readout and the stitches. Now, somebody was asking, does it do it by itself? No, it does not do it by itself. Um, you have to physically press those buttons. And as you can see there, it's labeled with everything crochet. It has this comfort grip, 
which is kind of weird for me because here, I'm going to show you. So to put this on, there's grooves on the inside of your crochet hook and then there's grooves on the actual crochet hook. So you just put it in and turn it and it'll stop turning after so long, which is where the wrench comes in. So you're going to get that little wrench, put it on there and twist. Okay. And that's how you get it to secure on there. Okay. So it's not going anywhere. So once you get it on there, you can start crochet. Okay. To take it off, it's the same thing. You take the little cro the wrench, twist it the opposite way, pulls right off. Real simple and easy to use. And as you can tell, I have my nails back on and I'm able to use it with my nails. So when it comes to crocheting, I found myself holding the crochet hook a little bit further up. I know some people do hold it right there, but I found myself holding it a little further up. Um, so we're gonna test it out for you here. And I'm using some furls um, yarn, which is called Wander, which is an acrylic yarn. Um, and this is just to kind of give you a demo here. Um, but the crochet, the crochet hook worked well. I've only charged it once. So the charge does hold for a nice long time. Cause like I said, I bought this a few months ago. Um, I think I might've had this after my last surgery. So it's like about a, a couple of weeks ago. So maybe we'll, we'll say like a month. We'll say I've had it for about a month. Um, and I haven't had to recharge it since I got it. So we're gonna just do a couple of stitches here to show you. And it, it feels like a normal crochet hook. Um, I, I didn't have any problems using it. It was just when I was done with my crochet project, uh, the thing started turning colors and I didn't know why. So, it works like a regular crochet hook. The hook itself, like, and as you can see where I'm holding it, I'm holding it on the sides and above where that comfort grip is. So like, I can hold it where the comfort grip is, but for some reason my hand just wasn't letting me hold it there whenever I was using it. But I do like the fact that it has the comfort grip there because a lot of people do hold their hooks like that. Um, and as you can see, it works just fine. It's nice that it has the interchangeable sizes because if you're someone who doesn't have or has limited space or you're looking for something where you can still crochet and have a multitude of different sizes, these are some of the most common sizes used in crochet hooks. So I, I'm happy to see that because I know a lot of uh, crochet hooks, when you buy them now, they don't come with a 5.5 and it skips from, I think it goes from 5 to 5.25. And then it skips from 5.25 to, uh, I think, to 6. It doesn't, they, some of them don't come at a 5.5 anymore. So I like the fact that it, it came with a 5.5 um, crochet hook in this one. I like the fact that it comes with multiple different sizes of crochet hooks. Like I said, I'm not sure why it would change color like that. Um, but that's okay because it doesn't hinder it from working. Now, when you're crocheting something with this hook, Whenever you finish a stitch, you will have to press the button. Whenever you finish a row, you will have to press the button. And that's one of the downsides to having a crochet hook like this. It's kind of more of a gimmick than it is like functional. Where it does work, what happens when the digital screen uh, breaks or the, you know, whenever that digital screen breaks or it stops working, um, then you just are stuck with a crochet hook with interchangeable hooks. Um, but it is nice that it does read your stitches and your rows and it, it separates them so that you can see. So you'll see the S at the top or the R, which of course you'll have your stitch and your row. And then whenever you're done, you just click it and keep going. I do like the fact that they put the buttons further down the hook because a lot of people were saying that they would hit that button if it was, if, if, uh, if it was closer up, they would hit the button or they are scared to get it because they're scared they're going to hit the button. When I hold this, my hand is nowhere near those buttons. Even if it was, even if it was resting right on top of it, those buttons, you have to give it a, like, you have to give it a pretty strong press for it to, uh, to, to read what you just pressed. So you holding your crochet hook, no matter how you hold it, and the way they have it where it, uh, it kind of bows down, that also helps for you to not miss accidentally click that button. Um, you would have to legit, like, be trying to hit that button with like your knuckle or something for you to hit that button because uh no just holding the crochet hook 
I had no problems with accidentally hitting that button because you're holding the hook up here. So the back of your hand is usually touching that hook. Or I turn mine because the way they have the comfort grip, which is probably another way, reason why they did it like this, the way they have the comfort grip, if you hold it sideways, you're not even touching the buttons. So if you hold it sideways like this, the hook itself is going to be sideways, which means those buttons that are right here, you're not gonna be touching them, okay? So then when you're done with a project, you can count how many stitches, how many rows, and then you just press and hold to clear it. And then immediately, after like a minute or two, your digital screen will go blank. It doesn't mean that it died or anything. It's a bat. It's kind of like a battery saver mode. So I do like that. Um, there are more pros than cons with this. And even though I said it is kind of gimmicky because when that digital screen is done, it's done. Um, I would definitely say it was worth the 50 bucks because you're getting interchangeable hooks. And like I said, even if that doesn't work, these still will work. As long as you don't break this part, this crochet hook is functional. And then of course, like I said, it has the little bottom part where you would stick your charger into it to charge it. It only took like an hour or two to charge, so I like that as well. Um, it's a very nicely made crochet hook. Like I said, I don't mind the rattling, even though I don't know what it is. You can look down in there and you can see like kind of like the digital readout and stuff. Something got loose in here when I was crocheting and I'm not sure what it was, but it doesn't hinder me from working on it. I don't even notice unless I shake it which if you're crocheting you're not gonna be shaking your crochet hook so that really that part really doesn't matter but it is a really nice crochet hook it was really nice to use I didn't hurt my it didn't hurt my hand to use it even though it is a hard plastic um that comfort grip really does work with not like having too much pressure on your hand um I was I was crocheting like eight nine hours at a, in a time because you know crocheting is a little bit more involved than like diamond painting or anything like that so I can crochet for long periods of time and my finger wouldn't hurt or my hand wouldn't get tired of holding it and it's big so if you're someone who suffers from like arthritis or you get pain in your hand from crocheting so uh, after so long having something a little bit bigger like this like the barrel of it being a little bit bigger is going to be beneficial because you're not holding that tiny little crochet hook so let me grab a regular crochet hook uh an ergonomic hook versus this one all right so this is an ergonomic hook compared to the everything crochet hook okay so you can see the size difference is substantial there's a bigger difference between this one and that one so holding something like this if you have say bigger hands um could also could possibly hurt your hand after holding it for long periods of time but if you have something like this it's going to help with that you know pain that you get in your hand from uh crocheting for long periods of time now, I don't usually get pains in my hand unless I hold my crochet hook a certain way, which is if I hold it on the metal, which is why I normally say get the ergonomic hooks that go up like this, up the barrel of the hook so that you're not hurting your hand. Um, I can hold these for a very long time, and I was able to hold this for just as long as I was able to hold my ergonomic hook. Um, but like I said, this will help if you have bigger hands and your hands hurt, if you want to have something to help you keep track of your stitches and rows. Um, I'm not sure how long the digital readout will last. Um, I'm guessing as long as you take care of the hook, as long as you're gentle with the hook, you put it back in its case when you're done, or you put it in a safe spot where it's not going to get stepped on or dropped constantly or something like that. Um, I think it'll actually work for quite a long time um, because it has a charger, which I like, which, you know, I would, I, I like having the charger versus like the batteries because then I don't have to worry about running out of batteries or anything like that. So it is an actual pretty good crochet hook. So if this is something that you were in the market for, um, it has Miss Coffee's seal of approval. Even though I do think it's a little bit gimmicky, you do get a variety of different hook sizes. Um, it does have the digital readout to help you keep track of your rows and stitches. And it is nice to be able to just be like, oh, I need a six, you know, size crochet hook. Not having to go through your, your container that, ha that holds your crochet hooks. Being able to just go through the case, find the one you need, use your little wrench, put it back on there. And my advice, as soon as you get that hook back on there, is to put your wrench back in the case. Because that way, that'll assure that you won't lose it. Even if you just kind of set it in there. Because then if you go to close it, your hook is still in there. So I I, I would definitely say if, you, if you're if you in the hook, the market for a interchangeable crochet hook, 
um, this is one that I would highly, I would highly recommend because it does help keep track of your rows and stitches. And I have to say, it was very helpful whenever I was doing my project to have that digital readout there and have it like, instead of doing like slash marks or something, being able to have it have the number of stitches that I have in this row. So I know I need to have this many stitches and I'm on this row. It was very nice to have. So I would definitely say the everything crochet hook is worth it if you are in the market for an interchangeable crochet hook that's going to also help you keep track of your rows and stitches and so yeah i love this hook i will that you will definitely be seeing this in videos to come i'm sure so if this is something you're interested in i will leave a link to it in the description box of this video uh, it is fifty dollars but you have to think for fifty dollars you're getting something with a digital readout that's going to help you con um, count your stitches and rows you're also getting a uh, interchangeable hook which means you only need one base and um these hooks now i don't know if you can use other interchangeable hooks to put in here i only know that these the ones that came with it are the ones that work with it so i know because i know i'm going to get that prop possibly as a question but as for this hook i i would i would definitely recommend it if you're someone in the market for something like this so uh like i said i'll leave a link in the description box so now would i say this is something that's worth your purchase let's think about this like we're going to make an informed decision here you're getting a digital readout on your crochet hook okay um, yes, you have to do it manually, but it's better than it not being manual because if you miss a stitch or have to go back, um, it's not counting that. You have to physically press a button instead of your hook telling you, oh, you did one stitch, oh, you did two stitch. It doesn't understand if you have to take the stitch out or if it gets moved in the motion of you crocheting and it accidentally counts that as a stitch and then it knocks you off of you know, what stitch you're on or what row you're on. So uh, I like the fact that it does have the buttons. I like the fact that it has the digital readout. I like the comfort grip of it and the way that they have it on there where you can use it in a way that you're not going to be pressing those buttons. Um, they could have put it on the like this side so you're pressing it. But no, they, they purposely put it like the, the way they did so you're not pressing those buttons. Um, it's interchangeable. It comes with a charger. It comes with everything you need. It even comes with this cool little case for you to keep it in, which of course you can customize it by putting your name or something on it. Um, it's also easy for if you want to take this on the go, say you're going on an overnight trip and you want to take some crochet with you. It's easy to just take this with you, put it in your to-go bag and just go. And you have all the sizes you could possibly need to start any crochet project that you're looking to do if say you're you know not at home or if you're taking a road trip. So I, I would, I would definitely recommend this hook to someone who's looking for interchangeable hooks. And this hook again comes from Everything Crochet, which I will have linked down in the description box below. But with that said, folks, that's it for me today. And as you can see that, that cap, it holds them in there nice and tight. So with that said, Thank you so much for watching. Yes, I would recommend this hook. I will have it linked down in the description box. But with that said, I should probably get out of here. So please, please, please be stay safe out here in these crafty streets. Please don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands. Don't touch your face out in public. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys. <laughs>